This week I've been working on a Paschal candle stand for a church out in California. This is solid oak. It's going to be 40 inches tall. It's going to fit on a base. And it's made up of laminations of red oak. Uh, right now I've uh, got the laminations done. I've shaped the uh, stand. And uh, now I'm getting ready to carve waves in the wood and the Christian fish symbol. Oak is a fairly hard wood to carve, so I'm going to start out using a mallet and a V-parting tool to outline the waves. Normally I could push the gouge through the wood, but uh, because oak is so hard, I get better control if I just tap it lightly with the mallet. Tap the, the gouge lightly with the mallet. Now I've got the outlines of the waves made with the V-parting tool and I flipped the whole stand 180 degrees so I can get a little bit better uh, angle on it for the next step. The next step is I'm going to undercut the waves slightly and then uh, kind of uh, relieve the face of the wave so it slopes down to the, the base under the crest. I'll show you what I mean. Just using a number two sweep gouge here. Just a very, almost a flat uh, tool. And then uh, I've undercut the, uh, the face of the, of, the, uh, of the crest a little bit. And now I'm just going to relieve the wave some. And I'm just going to work my way all the way around all the waves until I've got a nice smooth wave face with a very distinct very distinct and sharp crest on the wave. Okay, I've got the waves pretty much smoothed out, good sharp edges. Now I need to make the waves look a little more like real waves. You know, I served on seven ships in the Navy. I know something about waves and all the waves have little ripplets inside them. So I'm going to take this number seven gouge and I'm going to go ahead and carve just little bitty gouges across the waves like this that when the light falls on them correctly will look like little ripplets. Now I've got all the ripplets carved on the front face and now I'm going to go ahead and trace the fish symbol on here and carve that before I roll the piece over and carve ripplets in the other faces. It's kind of heavy. I don't want to roll it more often than I have to. I'm just going to take some carbon paper and my pattern for the fish and I'm just going to go ahead and trace it on here. Well, the fish uh, design has been traced, and now I'm going to carve the letters first, and when they're all done, then I'll carve the fish. Just in case a letter gets to be a little larger than planned, I can always make the fish a little larger so everything fits right. To carve a letter, the first thing to do is to outline the letter and then draw the center line of the letters, and uh, cut a deep, uh, a deep uh, cut right down the center here with a straight uh, bench chisel in this case. And then later I will chip out the corners like this. Just cutting on the uh, an angled line that goes from the center line to the corner. And once that's done, then I can just go ahead and use my straight bench chisel and just, just chip out the sides of the letter. Just like that. And here we are 
we're just finishing up the little details on the fish. And there you go. Now that the waves and the fish are carved in the surface of the candle stand, I'm going to carve a kind of a sunburst pattern in the top that will surround the brass cup that's going to hold the candle. And to do that carving, I'll use a number nine sweep gouge, which is a very sharp U shape, and it will just make uh, channels along the top in a sunburst pattern going in towards the center, and it will really enhance the look of the uh, brass cup that sits on top. So now you've got a real close-up view of the top, and all I'll do is take my number nine gouge, and starting out uh, at the extremity, I'll just go ahead and make little channels, being careful not to go too far. I don't want to go past where the cup is going to sit, and so I've drawn a circle two inches in diameter to show that cup. got all the carving done and uh, now in order to see if there's any uh, blemishes in the carving and so forth, what I did was I sanded down the flat parts smooth and now I'm going to take some very thin shellac polish. This is uh, a mixture of a, of a small amount of shellac flakes with a whole lot of denatured alcohol to make a very thin shellac solution. I've got some in a little uh, container here, and I'm simply going to brush this in to the uh, carvings, and this will help show if there's any uh, little places where I need to kind of trim up the carvings. It'll also give a little bit of strength to the to the wood as the shellac uh, dries, and uh, if there's a few fibers sticking up, something like that. I can easily trim them. The shellac is dry and I've gone and I've done a little bit of touch up on some of the places that I thought maybe the carving was a little bit rough. And you can see the sunburst on the top where the the brass cup is going to go. And the waves go all the way around, all the way around the piece. So I think we're in pretty good shape, and I think it turned out uh, very nice. Now, in the next episode, we're going to uh, assemble the base and attach the base and do the final finishing and attach the brass cup.